Welcome to the Level Up Life Podcast. I'm your host, Scotty Hobbs, and I'm here to talk to you about a topic that is heavy on my mind today, and we're just going to title this, Rest, Don't Quit. Now, you may be going through a trial in your life. You may be struggling with something. There may be hardship all around you, and I've had many of those experiences throughout my whole entire life, Uh, especially over the past 13 years have I been raising a family, being married, building a business, working on numerous real estate projects. There's been times where it just feels like it's just too much. The burden is too heavy. There's too much going on. And you have this desire to quit or to not continue pushing forward with goals and ambitions that you might have in your life. So maybe you're in a state like that. Maybe you've been in one in the past. I hope you can relate. And I hope this really makes you think about things in your life and think about what you really want and what's important to you. So for me, I've been through some really hard challenges. You know, over the past 13 years of building a business, probably the heaviest trial for me was Uh, My wife and I getting separated and me feeling like we would no longer be married, that we would have to figure out this new life of of having, you know, a divorce and having um, custody battles or whatever that might entail. And I remember specifically one morning just crying on the bathroom floor and just feeling like it was over for me, like I didn't know what to do. So I've been there. I've had my my best friend. Uh, who's my cousin, who I felt like was my little brother, uh, pass away during the COVID times. And and I wasn't able to even say goodbye to him because I couldn't go to the hospital. So I've been through these difficult challenges, hard challenges in my life, where it would be very easy to quit going after my goals, quit going after the ambitions or the dreams that I feel God puts in my life. And one thing that I believe is that if God puts a dream on your heart, and in your life, that there's a way to figure it out. I also believe that when you are in this space where you're ready to take your life to the next level, make a bigger impact, change lives on a different level, that someone is going to show up in your life and try to keep you from doing that. And that's the devil. That's Satan. He does not want you to be happy. He does not want you to feel joy. And he certainly does not want you to help other people believe in themselves and take their lives to a different level and to become bigger believers. So I've been through these challenges. So my biggest piece of advice to you, if you are in some sort of trial or challenge right now, is to rest and not quit. And it's going to be extremely important that you put a heavy focus on your mindset. Because what happens when you're in a place like this is your mind starts to take over and your mind is not naturally going to go towards the positive things. It's going to go into protective mode. It's going to be naturally very negative. So it's going to be super important that you are very self-aware, that you are listening to or reading personal development books to help you in those areas, but that you're also journaling and writing out your thoughts and staying you know, true to what your goals and your vision are, and that you're not taking an easy out when things get hard or when things are challenging around you. So remember, I'm gonna say it again, and I'm gonna say it a few times throughout this short podcast episode, is to rest and not quit. I'm gonna say it again, rest and not quit. You don't, ha- I'm gonna give you permission right now, you don't have to show up 100% all of the time for other people. It's okay for you to take time and focus on yourself, to get your mind back in the place that it needs to be, to spend extra time. Uh, You don't have to earn self-love. You don't have to earn the ability to love yourself or to go get that massage or to take a hot Epsom bath or do any sort of thing. You already are deserving of love and deserving of rest, so it's okay to take that rest. My advice to you once again is to rest and not quit. Let's say you're building a business and you're spending three hours a day on top of another job or on top of your mother priorities or your father priorities or your schooling and you're building a business and you're working three hours a day and you come upon a hardship, your best friend dies, you have a loved one that comes down with cancer, your home burns down in a fire, whatever that might be, that hardship. It's okay to feel that pain and to mourn that loss and to take care of yourself 
without quitting on your goals and dreams. We have a long life ahead of us. Whether you are 30, whether you're 42 like me, or whether you're in your 60s, I still believe you have a lot of time left and it's okay for you to take that rest, love yourself, do what you need to do to get your mind in the right place, and to even take a break, 100% take a rest without making it such a big deal in your life. Um, one thing, so I wanna share with you what I did during some of those trials that I shared with you before, is when things got extremely hard and difficult, um, I'll, I'll share another story with you. I was one time uh, at a convention in Las Vegas uh, for our company, and I was a part of what's called an advisory board. So I was not only just building my business, um, this was during the time that I was fighting for my marriage. Uh, we have decided we were going to try to figure this out, but it was still extremely difficult. And I was at this convention and I was on an advisory board making hard decisions for a company um, with the, the corporate leadership. And it was extremely stressful. But at the time, I didn't realize that I was under a lot of stress because I'm the person that says, it's fine, I'm gonna figure it out. And maybe you're that person as well. But it turns out uh, that early that one of those mornings, I was in the shower and I had been getting these strong headaches. But that specific morning, I got a strong headache that felt like, an ice pick in the back of my brain right here. And I actually blacked out in the shower and I fainted. And I remember crawling out and my wife thinks I'm a, an exaggerator, exagero in Spanish. And I, I told her that I passed out, I blacked out in the shower and I, so I think something's wrong with me. And I remember feeling like maybe I survived an aneurysm, um, you know, and, and I needed to get this checked out right away. So right upon getting back, I went in, got brain scans, got CAT scans, all of that stuff. And it turns out that everything was okay. And the doctor asked me, are you stressed out? And I was like, no, I'm not stressed out. I'm good. Like I do personal development and, and um, I love what I get to do for work. Um, but, and, and I got put on a medication and it was a high blood pressure med med high blood pressure medication because they were figuring that since there was nothing on the scans that um, my blood pressure was spiking and that's what caused it. But I wasn't stressed out, right? So that moment came, I got on those uh, that medication and what I wanna share with you guys is that I felt depressed. And I'm not a person that has ever felt, I, I feel blessed that I've always been optimistic and positive person, but I felt depressed on that medication. So uh, I told my doctor I wanted to get off of that and we went uh, with the goal of doing things that helped me relieve stress. So those things that I did, I started listening to, instead of, like I've been a musician my entire life so I listen to hard rock, sometimes heavy rock and, and all kinds of things like that. And so the first thing I did is I, I put on classical music and listened to it all day long. I started doing guided meditations between 10 and 20 minutes of guided meditations. And I started taking time to just lay in a hot Epsom bath or to sit in the sauna and to just listen to these meditations and listen to classical music. Well, believe it or not, my blood pressure came down. I still had the same pressures on me of working on my marriage, of helping lead, lead the company in those decisions on the advisory board and in building my own team and my own business. But my, I was able to bring those stress levels down, uh, my blood pressure down through meditation, uh, through just taking time to take care of myself, to, to slow down and to rest. But what I want to share with you during that is I stayed clear on the goals and visions that I had for my life and for my business. I see far too many people in life that go after something super hard for a year or two, they get burnt out or they get stressed out and then they stop and move on to something else. And then they realize that that thing that they were doing actually did bring them joy and then they come back. And it's a constant battle of building up momentum, stopping, and then having to start over, build up momentum and stop. And then you never really get to the point that you want in your life and you're wondering, how come I just can't get the ball rolling on this? And the, the truth of the matter is that you do have the ball rolling and it's okay if sometimes it's rolling fast and sometimes it's rolling slow, but to keep that moving in the right direction. One of the biggest pieces of advice I could give or a book to read that helped me understand that concept was The Slide Edge by Jeff Olson or The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy, where it talks about the importance 
of never stopping and continuing to do something, even if it might be a little bit, uh, a little bit that's even might seem insignificant in the moment, but over time, those compounded things will benefit you for the better. So for example, right now, I have huge goals and ambitions. I have a, a book that I'm uh, starting to work on. I'm doing a podcast where I'm, where I'm interviewing uh, right here on the, le- on the Level Up podcast where I'm interviewing business owners and high level achievers and athletes. Uh, So I'm taking on that project, the book, my kids are growing and and they're in so many activities. I'm working hard to build our business uh, and we're building two homes at the same time. So there's a lot of projects going on, but I can continue to stay focused on building this business that I love most of helping people with their health, fitness and nutrition and mentoring them in business all while doing those other things. And here's the thing, there were there were years over the past 13 years where I would put a solid six hours a day into my business. Or there was times when we were top, uh, the top 10 in the company where I would put in 10 hours a day and I would have an assistant putting in multiple hours. So there's different phases of your life. But right now, for example, I, I can work on building two, uh, work on helping manage the, the process of building two homes and you know, working on uh, drafting a book that I wanna write and doing this podcast and doing my business and I can feel good doing three hours of work for my business where I'm mentoring people in their health and fitness and in business. And what I know about that is yes, it's not eight hours or 10 hours a day like I might've used to have done, but it's three hours a day, it's something. And there's sometimes, believe it or not, like we're going on a cruise to Miami uh, for spring break with our kids. And during that time, my friends, I'm going to do only an hour a day on my business for that 10 day trip that we're gonna be on. And that's okay, because it's still taking some forward small step in the right direction. So my advice to you again, once again, is to, if you have a goal and a dream on your heart, is to rest, and not quit. And remember that if you have a goal and a vision that's put into your life, into your heart, by God or the universe or whatever it is that you believe in, it was put there for a reason and there is a way to accomplish it. You must stay faithful and have faith that it can happen and stay consistent in being willing to learn and grow and to reach out and connect and network with people that will help you get to that next level. But then also remember, that the devil or the adversary knows the impact that you're going to make. He's miserable. He doesn't want you to be happy. He doesn't want you to be joyous. He doesn't want you to make an impact and change the lives of other people. So he's going to put extra effort into planting those seeds of doubt into your mind, the seeds of fear, the doubt, all of that stuff into your mind to try to keep you from doing that. So my friend, do not let him win. All right, guys, thank you for watching this episode of this podcast. If you got some value from this, please share it with someone else. Please leave a positive review and share it with someone else so that they can get this value. And we'll see you guys on the next episode. Thanks for watching.